Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com, your home for honest, real-world airgun reviews and information where we bring you the facts, not fluff. So, you have a pest problem and you're looking for an inexpensive airgun to help you resolve it. You need a decent 22 caliber that's under $150. I get this question all the time and we may just have the answer in the Crossman Optimus 22 cal brake barrel airgun. I want to thank Pyramid Air for providing today's product and all the supplies and for sponsoring our YouTube channel. So now, let's take a good close-up look at the Craftsman Optimus 22 Cal. The new Crossman Optimus closely resembles the old Crossman Quest on the surface, but it's actually more like the Vantage and the Phantom. Our test gun is the 22 caliber version and it runs about $110 online at PyramidAir.com. The Optimus is a simple brake barrel rifle that is perfect for both right and left handed shooters on a tight budget. The rifle ships with front and rear fiber optic sights with the rear sight fully adjustable for windage and elevation. It also comes with a 4x32 center point scope that, while not great, does have a mill dot reticle and stayed on target for this review. Crossman stayed with their standard trigger with this gun. It is very rough and has an uncomfortably long second stage. There is an adjustment screw, but it only adjusts a tiny bit of the second stage pull length, so it's really not much help. But given the low price point of the gun, it's perfectly adequate for this rifle. Let's talk a little bit about cocking, loading, and shooting the Crossman Optimus. The Crossman Optimus 22 only comes in a combo, so the first thing you're going to want to do is probably mount and sight in the included 4x32 scope. Now you can review the Take Aim Episode 1 for some easy instructions on how to get that done. Once you have the scope installed and basically on target, you're going to need to settle in for a long break-in period. The proper way to fire the Optimus is to put the gun on safe, cock the gun, load the pellet, close the barrel, aim the gun at your intended target, release the safety and gently squeeze the trigger. It all looks like this. We'll do that one more time. Set the safety. Cock the gun. Load your pellet. Close the barrel, point it at your intended target, release the safety, gently squeeze the trigger. As with all spring guns, proper use of the artillery hold and trigger control will be critical. To say that the Optimus is rough out of the box is like saying hitting pavement at 50 miles an hour is uncomfortable. It's extremely rough out of the box. The good news is that it does smooth out with use. So before you really start shooting for accuracy, you need to shoot about 500 to 1,000 pellets through the gun. Once you're through the basic break-in period, you'll want to do the first maintenance. Follow the method we recently discussed using the RWS maintenance kit. It's the best I've found short of tearing down the gun and rebuilding the rifle. Now we are ready to start testing for velocities and accuracy. The Crossman Optimus in 22 claims a max 950 feet per second with alloy pellets. So I tested the Gamo PBA pellet, which is a very lightweight 22 pellet, weighing only 9.8 grains. They produced the following results. We had a high of 876, a low of 801, an average of 854, with an extreme spread of 75 feet per second, standard deviation of 21 feet per second, and the average energy at 15.91 foot-pounds. Now moving on to our standard lead pellet, the RWS Hobbies at 11.9 grain, we achieved the following. We had a high of 720, a low of 692, an average of 707, with an extreme spread of 28 feet per second and a standard deviation of 8 feet per second. The energy from the RWS Hobbies was 13.23 foot-pounds. Like the Venom, finding the right pellet for the Optimus proved a challenge. I found that many of the RWS pellets shot equally well, but the RWS Super H points gave us our best group at 10 yards. 
there are 14.2 grain pellet and produce the following. We had a high of 676, a low of 667, an average of 671, with an extreme spread of only 9 feet per second and a standard deviation of 3 feet per second. The average energy was 14.2 foot-pounds. During our testing, the Optimus produced about 103 dB on average, making it a relatively loud brake barrel gun compared to some of the nitro piston guns that come in at 97 and 98 dB. So how does the Optimus shoot? Let's move on to our accuracy testing. There's one critical point to consider with the Optimus, and that's its price. The Optimus sells for around $110, and when I keep that in mind, I'm actually pretty pleased with what we got. Could it do better? Sure. Are there some guns that outshoot it? Sure. But I'm not sure there are any that can do it near $110. Now, there are some factors working against the Optimus when it comes to getting really tight groups, but these can be easily overcome with a little TLC. The biggest factor working against you for bench shooting is going to be the trigger. It has an average pull weight of 4 pounds 10 ounces, and like all other Crossman triggers, the second stage is way too long, way too hard, and way too rough. As with the Venom, the 20-yard groups were not worth putting on camera, so we'll just stick to 10-yard groups today. Unlike the Venom, however, I got consistent groups right away after settling in with the RWS Super H point pellets. While not match groups by any stretch of the imagination, they are more than adequate for the primary goals of this rifle, plinking in the backyard and pest control. If you can put the crosshairs on the target and do your part with the hold, at 10 or 15 yards you'll have great success with this gun. Take a look at these shot groups from 10 yards. So here's my scorecard for the Crossman Optimus in 22 caliber. Let's start with the cons. The one main con I have for this gun is going to be the trigger. I could think of a lot of other things that could be improved on this gun, but when you take into consideration the price, the trigger is really my only complaint. And that continues to be a complaint only because other guns in the same price range are sold with much better triggers. Guns like the Beeman series guns with the RS2 trigger, and also the Ruger Airhawk are a couple good examples. So here are the pros for the gun. The biggest pro for the Crossman Optimus is the price. At only about $110, it's a great value for a 22 caliber brake barrel air gun. While it may be rough around the edges mechanically, this improves quickly with use. With a little practice and patience, the Optimus will prove to be a very nice backyard pest control air gun. I'm not sure that there's anything that really can compete with it in this price range. You really can't go wrong with the 22 caliber Crossman Optimus. I'd like to take a moment and thank the folks at Pyramid Air for sponsoring our channel and providing all the supplies for this review. You can find the products we used in this review at their website at www.pyramidair.com. When you're looking for your next air gun or you're looking to fill your next air gun supply order, please visit www.pyramidair.com or just give them a call at 888-262-4867 and be sure to let them know that you learned about them here at Airgun Web. When you're looking for honest or real world airgun reviews, think Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. I'm Rick Utzler with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for watching.